All right. One other thing I did want to get to that a number of people hit me up on Twitter about. And I don't mean to even be the one bringing up his name first this time, but but this is some wild. This may even be more upsetting to me than his arguments around economics. Uh, so a couple people sent me. This is one example of what what I got sent. So shout out to to Mozo. Where Boyce Watkins is apparently going in on sampling. So this one here, he says, believing that a sampling producer is a creative genius is like believing you're a master chef because you made a bowl of cereal. He had another one where he showed the video uh, that someone had made where they oversimplify this argument by showing Dr. Dre beats versus the beats he sampled and the similarity, meaning like, and then, and then Boyce said, well, well, what did, what did Dr. Dre really do then? Now I'm not here to defend Dre because in fact, his version similar to, to uh, now that he's suffering other, other uh, uh, deserved apparent, uh, punishment or I don't know what the state of it is at this point, but but Diddy was often blamed for for this as well. Their versions of sampling notwithstanding, sampling absolutely is an art form. It's an absolute skill. So the very first thing I wanted to 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 say in response to that, to to our dear brother Dr. Boyce Watkins, whose economic analysis is now matched in its absurdity with whatever this is called in terms of a hip hop analysis. And I think, I think actually, I feel like this is worse. This is more offensive to me. You don't have to love hip hop or appreciate DJing or producing per se, as much as I or others might, but you, you should at least be honest if you're going to be criticizing again, this is the same kind of non studied quote unquote analysis that he applied to critiquing my work, that he applies broadly to the economy and solutions to black inequality. It's just such a silly, so that's, so sampling is an absolute art form. It's an absolute, there are levels to it just like anything else. So you wouldn't judge in the same way he's, he's holding up Dre or someone was hold up whoever else, you wouldn't judge you wouldn't judge jazz or saxophone playing by Kenny G. You wouldn't turn on a Kenny G record and then be like, you know what? All saxophone players are whack. All jazz is whack. The other thing that came to my mind was zero chance Boyce Watkins has ever heard a Dilla track or taken any time to analyze a Dilla track. I know he's never done the same for the the God himself, DJ Premier. There's zero chance. And I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna go to one of my favorite channels, all race nationalisms aside. And give you in 60 seconds, I'm gonna show you how how whack it's gonna take. It, it only takes 60 seconds to show you how whack that 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 analysis or that that critique of sampling is. And I'm a, I, I, <laughs> oh, hold on, I gotta start this again. And it goes to my man DJ Premier. This is one of my favorite. I used to use it when I was teaching my hip hop classes. This is one of my favorite breakdowns. This channel has become one of my favorite channels. This dude is is does a phenomenal job. I'm only going to use use one minute of 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 his work here. Uh, and I know some of you know this. Digging the Greats is the name of the channel. Uh, what I didn't know is that dude plays bass with Nas's live band. So he he knows what he's doing, and as you're going to see here, he knows what he's doing. And and if I were to ever have a conversation with Boys Boys, I don't even want. I don't even want to have an argument about buying power and economics and all that. I don't even, I don't even, I don't even want to do all of that. I just want, I just want you just to watch this.
This is all I would want you to do. Just watch this. <laughs> Just watch 60 Main seconds. For this, this is a breakdown of Premier's beat for most Def's mathematics track. And I'm just showing you one minute of it. I'll put the link in the show description. The full breakdown is incredible because beyond the sampling, what Premier and Most Def did in this track is truly genius and legendary. But I know boys can't appreciate that. The boys of the world can't appreciate that. But just the sampling alone, you one minute, one sixty seconds to tell me this ain't genius in art form song. There are two elements that make up this beat, the chopped up sample and the drums. The sample is from the song Baby I'ma Want You by the Fatback Band from 1972. Let's play the beginning and see if you can hear it. catch it? It kind of sounds similar, but it doesn't at all sound like how mathematics ends up. DJ Premier likes to obscure samples and make them his own rather than lifting larger sections. This can be heard all throughout his production, including on this song. What he's done is essentially pitched this down and chopped it up to a degree that it's not really recognizable anymore. Then he puts his mm. own drums underneath it and he's got a brand new song going. Let's see if we can recreate what he did with this sample. Look so what Premier's done voice. is basically taken that beginning part, chopped up the individual notes, and pitched it down. So check it out. It's in a slightly different order than the original and sounds different because it's pitched down, but there's one other thing in there. You hear that? Mow, 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 mow. It's some sort of like guitar slide or something. But rather than shy away from that noise, Premier doubles down on it. He plays it extra throughout the track and that's how the whole thing starts. Booka, 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 booka. Come on, man. All my Negroes, even, even the Gringos. So it's that's all. That's that's. You can't tell me that that's not brilliant. And remember, put it in the context. This is what is so frustrating. Even Cornell West back in the day had this part of the analysis right. This is coming out of the post black liberation era where in the Reagan era, there is a repression of all these movements in these communities, a punishment where all whatever safety nets, whatever resources for school, uh, uh, music and arts programs was just withdrawn. So you have one of the reasons why that level of genius emerges as opposed to what might have emerged a few decades earlier on some other kind of instrument is because the programs to teach bands and, and live instrumentation were being taken away. So to do what Premier did, and I don't even think he had a drum machine like that for that at the, at the, at the original time, you, 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 So it's not just hating on sampling, it's hating on all of the conditions that are producing it, that are pressing down on a community you're supposed to be a student of, a member of, a leader of. That's whack. And, 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 and to think that, that, that Boyce or anyone like him has any audience particularly among black people at all is just so dis disheartening. So I just wanted to, I, I just, I appreciate a couple of people sending me that. And, and I just wanted to, to do a quick response to that. And it just takes 60 seconds to show the genius. And if you really watch that entire video, it's, it's, there's so many layers to that track which has been one of my favorites for years since it came out. And I didn't know all the, all the, I never really understood all of the layers within it. So uh, shout out to Digging the Greats, shout out to Yasin Bey, and of course, the GOAT producer himself, DJ Premier. And he used to get mad, remember, because I know boys don't know this, but if you remember at the end of Gangstar tracks and albums and mixtapes, there would be, you would, you would hear one famously at least, where you would hear Premier saying DJs 
stop snitching on my samples on all your little breakbeat reveal tapes. I made an art form out of masking, not just, of course, for legal and, 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 and whatever purposes, but because it is an art form to take multiple pieces of, of other art and turn them into something that is not recognizable. And most people would not have recognized most of Premier's samples in the way he, again, as he said there, pitch down, this, that, move this way, that way. And this dude, no one had to play piano, no one had to play bass, no one had to do uh, production and, uh, and and all of that. And he makes good videos too. I mean, his 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 breakdowns are phenomenal and that one in particular. So exactly, man, he's sample snitching. He, Premier was calling him out, stop sample snitching. And then here comes Boyce all these years later with 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 such a another yet another unstudied something not support another claim unsupported by data 